Hello, I am back with another postcard haul. This is another selection of postcards that I purchased so that I can send out to all my post crossing and letter mail friends. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Shelby. I live in um, Whidbey Island, Washington. And yeah, I do post crossing and um, maybe I might be getting back into general pen paling and writing things like that anyway <clears throat> i purchased some postcards from a couple etsy sellers and the first two orders that i made are here already and i already would like to send out some cards from these so i wanted to show them to you before i went and sent them out uh so the first uh, Etsy seller that I purchased from is uh, Neka Neck Forest Arts Collective, um, I believe. I will link everything down below. And I ordered, I think, four postcard packs from them, and they also sent me a couple of free cards. So I'm first going to show you the postcard packs and the different designs that I ordered, and then I'll show you the little freebies that they sent. So I ordered, I think, four packs, uh, and they range between, I think, 18 to like 25 per pack, depending on which pack it is. Uh, so one of the collections I purchased is this um, chickens pack. Um, I purchased this specifically because we really like chickens, and um, actually once we get our yard situated, we will be having chickens next year. Uh, so there are a lot of designs in this pack. I'll show them all to you quickly. Um, but they're all, they're all chickens. So it's not, uh, I'm not going to hold any of them up for too, too long. This one's one of my favorites. Um, just because they're not terribly different in theme. Um, but they are all, they are all different pictures. Uh, there are a couple illustrations, but most of them are photographs like these ones. Um, this one is also one of my favorites with the little chicken butts. Um, there's a few that are kind of not quite close up where they show several chickens. Um... I'm using chickens to also describe baby chicks, hens, roosters, etc. Um, like I said, we've got some illustrated ones. Um, running chicken. And then there's some of these close-up ones like I've shown you of their faces. Which is very delightful. This one is kind of a larger shot here. Um, we've got a baby chick that has recently hatched. Actually, I'm not sure how recently hatched this guy is. Uh, he's very clean and fluffy looking. Um, I have never hatched chickens myself. Um, but my family did raise chickens when I was a little, little girl, so... Do know a little bit about them. Um, we raised them from babies. Um, yeah. And then this one. This one is just a freshly, freshly pipped little guy there. Uh, just a couple more of these. These are really stunning looking chickens um two more i just love chickens so anybody who we come across on post crossing who happens to like chickens um poultry in general farming or gardening um these might be great options so we got those uh let's see the next collection was the I already took one out so let me make sure I get all of them um these butterflies there was 25 in this set and they're not terribly different from each other uh, this is the one that I've already written out 
and it is ready to go in the mail. The rest, uh, there, a lot of them are this, um, in fact, I think all of them are portrait orientation. Um, they've got like the markings um, that you would find in like those shadow boxes of dead butterflies. <laughs> They're very much like that. Some of them look like they've got some extra details. They show some life cycles. Not all of them are butterflies. Uh, some of the, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on butterflies or moths, but um, some of them are moths. Uh, I'm quite sure that these are moths. <laughs> so while it says they are butterflies, I am not entirely convinced that they're all butterflies. In fact, I think quite a lot of them are not. But that's okay. Um, I may need to do a little bit of research to kind of personally be able to distinguish them uh, so that I don't send any that are clearly moths to somebody who really loves butterflies or is maybe like an expert in butterflies uh, or vice versa sending butterflies to someone who might be an expert in moths this one is the only one that looks more illustrated and not quite as much i say the only one there's probably at least another one uh, <clears throat> not quite as much like a sort of scientific thing. Um, they're all illustrations, I believe. Or uh, altered photographs. But I'm pretty sure they're all illustrations. Um, sorry about my kind of funky background here. Uh, we're still working on putting this room kind of together. Uh, since our move and making sure everything has a place. This is another sort of life cycle one. Um, <clears throat> this one says also to purchase from discowoods.com. It's the same company, the Neck and Neck Forest Arts Collective. Um, but I guess they have a different website beyond their Etsy. And so that's interesting. Something to check out. I'll put both links to the, both their Etsy where I purchased everything and to their um, the website that is linked. Um, the next set also, I had picked a few cards out to send uh, already. So I will show you those first as well. But this is the Julie de Grag. Uh, art uh, reprints so yeah these ones are quite nice I like them a lot so this one is one of the ones that I'm already sending out um, to me they just look like soggy mushrooms but also sort of ghost like and that's very interesting and then this one felt very perfect for somebody who I had just gotten the address for and so that's the memento mori with the skull image um so then we also have these ferns some parrots uh, got some owls i really love this arts art style i didn't know about this artist before which might seem terrible to somebody but um now that I know about this artist I'm going to look into their work a little bit more and see if I can learn more about the person or their art inspiration but I quite like all of all of them and it gives me kind of a very wide variety of things people might like to receive like for instance if somebody really likes cats and uh, specific art style that might match I, I might send them this as opposed to like a photograph of a cat um and same for 
for pigs. I don't really foresee myself buying a lot of postcards with pigs, but if someone happens to really like them, they might get a Julie de Grog pig. Another mushroom. I also like these very geometric styling um, floral prints. A dog. Another cat. Yeah, I'd be interested to learn more about this artist and their print, um, their art mediums. It almost looks like um, that style, like lino print. That's what I've learned it to be called. It almost looks like that sort of art style for at least some of them. So we've got the cat having a bath. Uh, this one made me chuckle when I first saw it up close. That's a, that's a dead bird. <laughs> Could be nice for somebody who likes that sort of thing. And these are some type of crustacean. Not entirely sure the orientation this postcard wants to be. This is um this is how it looks here, but it also hmm, I don't know. But that's that whole set. 27 in that set. And then finally I got from from the same um shop, I got now I haven't opened this one, so give me one one moment here while I do that. Okay, these are the, <laughs> this is the banana set. Uh, there's 18 in this set. Uh, this is just such a clever, <laughs> I don't see these ones getting sent out super quickly, mostly because they're such a silly, like, uh, uh, art style. Uh, but I think that it's funny. I like bananas and I think um, fun art with bananas is just very fun. Um, yes, so we've got both both the classic just, you know, banana for size, for scale, and we've got uh, banana hands. We've got a uh, banana plane many bananas for scale uh, another banana for scale uh, like that one quite a lot we've got banana horse this is very Luke I am your father <laughs> um, yeah just a ridiculous collection of banana uh, artwork. I just like it so much. Uh, banana phone, yeah, that's a classic style. We've got um, this, uh, the banana taxi or police cruiser, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Very clever. Banana bird, it's an eagle. Um, banana handgun. <laughs> So many bananas. Banana. In parentheses, bananas. Two bananas. How many times can I say banana in a single video? Um, at least a lot when a portion of the video is all about bananas. Three bananas. Banana butt. Banana top. And a banana on a palette. It's quite a large banana for a scale there. Um, but those are all the ones that I received from the uh, Neka Neck Forest Arts Collective. Uh, they did send. Oh, hey, puppy. I'll let you out in a minute. They did send. Oh, I already brought them into front of me. They did send a handful of um, additional ones that look like they're from maybe their other their other sets. Uh, so we've got this 
um, elephant with the long legs saying, hey. I think these are all from a collection of arts by Maurice Pillard Ver, uh, Um, So they're probably all come in the same full set. We've got these, uh, I believe they're weasels. Um, some swans and deer. And butterflies. Sure. And then we've got these... Um, Maybe they're doves and eagles. Yeah, so they sent me essentially one free card for every pack. So that was quite nice of them. Um, I will put those in my collection as well. And then the second artist, uh, or the second Etsy shop that I had purchased from, I didn't purchase quite as many from them. And I have not opened any of these packs yet. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my little parcel and open up each pack and separate them out that way there's less um, sounds on camera so I will be right back with those okay so this one's from Lydia Jean art this is just like a um like a thank you card uh, I do like this design a lot though I don't think I ordered any specific Halloween style um cards I almost did and then I took them out of my cart because I thought they would not get here in time for me to even send out any Halloween themed postcards. Uh, I'm a little bit regretting that decision. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, this is Lydia Jean Art. Uh, they are on littlegostshack.com as well as Lydia Jean Art on Etsy. So I'll put both of those links in um, the description. Um, she also sent a couple of free postcards and I'll show you those at the end. So let's see, I first ordered the um, sort of, it, they're, these, they're all holiday sets. These are essentially Christmassy, but a bit, a bit um, spooky. <laughs> so we've, they're all illustrations as well. Uh, these, uh, this one says Seasons Creepings. Uh, and the backs of these are colorful. Uh, they're not, they, they've, there's loads of extra space to write. They're not very filled in, but it's quite colorful. I do like that they've got four lines on the um, address space, whereas the others only have three. Because four lines I find is preferable for uh, if there's an apartment uh, number on a separate line, or especially when you're addressing a card to a separate country from your own. You want to put the country name. And uh, now with this, it's not too big of a deal because it's high enough up that I could write the country name under that bottom line uh, and it wouldn't get covered by the, um, the US postal system usually has like a sticker or a stamp that goes here and you wouldn't want that to be covered. Um, but these ones, I am, I am sure I could write a country name below that as well, but Anyway, all that to say, this is the, <laughs> the only design I've shown you so far from this set. Um, we've got a vampire and some very angry gingerbread folk. Uh, Tis the season to slay it. Uh, summon up the holiday spirit. We've got some ghosts summoning some... Um, well, if ghosts are doing the summoning, what, what are, are they summoning? Live folks? I'm not sure. Tis the season, and we've got this very cute wreath with a spider hanging ornaments on it. Oh, Mandy, I know that you're okay. You can sit and talk with me. She's a little, she's not so much that she wants to go outside, although she does. Um, but it's also that I'm talking to no one. <laughs> so she's weirded out by me, and she would like to go outside. Uh, I miss hanging out with Boo. Uh, and we've got some uh, ghosts decorating a holiday tree. And then we have Witching You a Happy Holiday. And we've got some very cute little witches preparing for a festive gathering, it looks like. Um, I'm going to quickly pause and let my dog go ahead and go outside. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm hoping she does not find a critter to bark at. <laughs> uh, 
so the next set is a little bit more traditional holiday. Uh, it's all the same art style. The Lydia Jean art is, this is all that person's own illustrations. Um, and I believe they all, yes, they all say happy holidays. And so we've got a jolly old fella with a fox at the North Pole and it says happy holidays. Uh, we've got a little reindeer and a rabbit. We've got a snowman and a little mouse or a squirrel. This looks like uh, some type of Yeti uh, and a little elf. And we've got a narwhal and a beaver exchanging holiday gifts. And the final set I ordered is not for a soon holiday. It's actually a St. Patrick's Day set that I thought was just too cute to pass up. And I can save them for March. Uh, it's only a set of three, it looks like. We've got a leprechaun with this little pot of gold saying, feeling lucky. We've got some very cute little red cap mushrooms that say, oh, what luck. And we've got an incredibly happy cloud with a rainbow saying, make a wish. Uh, alongside that, uh, this artist, as many small artists, small business artists do, um, just showered me with beautiful little gifts. So I will start with the postcard gifts. Uh, we've got this. So I do have a Halloween themed postcard after all. Uh, we've got a little Mothman guy saying stay spooky. Lovely. And we've got another holiday one with a slightly different art style saying tis the season. So yes, those are both very cute. And then they sent me um, some stickers. So I did order one sticker. I'm going to show you. I know this video should be up after my friend receives this, but um, there's also a good chance my friend won't see this video. But I ordered this little Mothman guy sticker to send to a close friend of mine. And then I also got for free this little spooky mail um, ghost sticker, a smaller, not quite the same. These are different, different art, but uh, a smaller little Mothman fella. Uh, this one might match. Yes, this one maybe matches more closely to these. Yeah. And a little Cinderella stamp like postage stamp art with a ghost on it. Very cute. Thank you so much to both of these um, Etsy sellers. Uh, I did purchase everything. They don't even know that I exist in terms of making a video. Um, but I just quite appreciate their very quick service. All the little free goodies um, free postcards. It, wonderful. Um, so I have another haul video coming up because I did order more, uh, more from Etsy and then I ordered some from Redbubble like I had mentioned in my last video. Those uh, are still coming eventually. If they come today I might record another video and it'll just go up um, a few, few days or a week after this one. But Yes, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me again while I showed you some beautiful postcards. If you want to get any of these ones, I will have all of the links below like I mentioned. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know what other type of content you would like to see. I'm making videos more just to kind of, I guess, share what's going on with this kind of hobby of mine. And so just, yeah. Thank you again, and I will see you next time. Bye. As an added bonus for everybody that stuck around for no particular reason, I forgot to mention, I picked up some stamps while I was out and about yesterday. Um, so I thought I would show you the new stamps. I 
there is nothing in particular that is special. I picked up some Colorado hair streak. These are the 99 cent uh, non-machinable non surcharge. So you put these on anything that is like an odd shape that can still be sent um, first class letter mail, uh, like square envelopes and something that might be rigid inside. Uh, so I picked these up because these are the right stamp to use if you are sending something first class letter mail and it's still under one ounce, but it has like a wax seal on it. This is the one to use. So I picked up a sheet of those. I have been all over everywhere looking for one cent stamps. I might have to just order them on the website. Um, but when I was at the second post office of my search yesterday, uh, they... I thought he said they were four cent stamps, and so I went, you know what, let me just have a half a sheet. Um, and if this isn't quite half, there's supposed to be eight in this section, and um, they come in 20, 20 per sheet, but I didn't want very many. And then I found, uh, found out right after I was paying, I went, you know what, no, those are not four cents. These are the 24 cent additional ounce stamps that you add. Uh, for letter mail that is between one and two ounces or two and three ounces. One additional stamp for each of those. Um, but, and I only wanted a few, um, like one cent stamps. So I just thought, you know what, just give me, give me that half that's already been partially used. And um, it doesn't matter that much because I don't have this design yet. Um, but I do already have additional ounce um, denominations. So anyways, the one I'm more excited to show you, best for last, uh, the um, Web Space Telescope stamps. These are one of the newest um, releases. They're very pretty art. I love them so much. I was hoping that they would use like maybe a holographic um, coating or like a shiny coating. These are just their standard, um, like a satin finish. Uh, I was really hoping that they would use either a holographic coating or that like thermal ink that they used on the Eclipse ones about five to seven ish years ago. They had, um, the Eclipse ones were, they were printed with thermal ink so that the, the moon, was it? If you pressed like your thumb or, you know, you warmed up that little spot, it would change from being stark white to being able to see the surface uh, of the, I believe it was the moon. Anyway, uh, so I thought maybe they would incorporate something interesting with this. They did not, but it is such beautiful art that I, I kind of don't think it matters. Um, these are just regular first class forever stamps. So quite happy about these. I am looking forward to seeing what the U.S. Postal Service brings us next year. Uh, I am going to get the um, cryptologist ones when those come out. Maybe by the time this video goes up, they'll already be out. But today I'm recording on the 12th of, oh, that's the dog ready to come back in. On the 12th of October is the day I'm recording. Um, so when the cryptologists one comes out, I will be getting those and I will just show them to you the next postcard haul video. But very excited about these. Thanks for sticking around for this little tidbit at the end. I'll see you next time.